All right, guys. Well, once again, I left it up to you guys to decide what we were going to be working on next. And uh, you guys decided we were going to install these triple bypass shocks up front. Uh, what this was originally designed to do was this was just a single shock tower for one coil over. And then we were going to have a bump stop here uh, that hit. But we ended up changing. Uh, I got hooked up with some triple bypass shocks from Buggy Dorks. Uh, some of you guys might know him as the Grinch. But uh, we will be installing those. Uh, I have to cut two more of these brackets. These will match exactly what's on here right now. And we'll have to cut this plate out. I had this one cut from uh, Sen Cut Sen. We'll try to salvage it and see what we can do there. But uh, essentially, we're going to have two more plates in here to be able to mount the triple bypass shock. And we'll have to add tabs down here uh, to be able to mount it up. And that's going to act as our bump stop as well as our adjustability for our shock dampening. This should be a pretty straightforward mod. We'll just be installing the shocks uh, directly in here and adding tabs, basically. The one thing we're going to have to be careful for is the coilover. The coilover and the bypass shock, it's going to be a little tight. We want to make sure we have clearance between the coilover and the, co and the uh, triple bypass by at least I'm shooting for around a quarter inch. So in order to do that, I had to get some springs. I borrowed these springs from uh, BS Designs right here in Tehachapi. Uh, his name's Brad. He's a really cool guy. He let me borrow his springs from his truck. So we'll be putting those on there to make sure we have enough clearance uh, and everything clears properly. So uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to be cutting some brackets and cutting that out. And then we're going to get them installed and start trying to get everything to fit. So let's do this.
All right, guys, well, that is it. We've got the triple bypass shock all mounted up. We've got our double shock tower here. It is final welded and complete. We have a quarter inch of clearance between the springs and our, our bypass shock. So we're good there. And then down on bottom, um, we added the tabs right here on top of the reinforcement that we did inside of this arm, uh, right on top of where the uh, bump stop was supposed to bump. So we got plenty of strength there and uh, plenty of clearance. It seems to clear everywhere, even this uh, tube here. So it's looking really good. Um, I'll probably just do the other side off camera. Uh, but for now, uh, if you guys want to get any MyzBug merch, go to MyzBugStore.com. And thanks for joining. And thanks for all the support from you guys. This thing's coming along nicely. I'll catch you later.